Okay. Can you see? Are you on? It's on now. Hi guys. If you're on, um, can you let me know how the music is? Hey Debbie. So glad you could come. I do have a partner. He's just uh, right off the screen here. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you're joining us, um, Nick, there, he's here. here. <laughs> so, yay. Um, get a drink if you'd like. I have my wine. He's got his LaCroix back there. We'll get started in a few minutes. Um, don't even really need a mat as long as you're on something uh, soft. We, we have this rug here that's pretty soft. So, I and you're, you're pointing at me when and, you said something no. soft. <laughs> Hey, Amy, and possibly a strap or a towel or a belt or anything that you could use in place of a strap. Um, otherwise, nothing special. Okay, good, Debbie. Thank you. Hey, Ash. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I was going to say, this is kind of a hard one to follow along with. So if you um, just guys just kind of want to watch and play around with things, and you can go back later and work on the poses together. Yes, it is a fun date night. I mean, our quarantine date night. <laughs> so, I don't need to have mine up in. Well, we're going to be back there. I'm, you know, so I'm not going to be able to read unless you can read that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll have to keep coming up here. So we'll kind of um, down with the poses, and then Nick has his phone over there. So if you guys have questions or any comments while we're going along, we'll check those and try to answer them. <laughs> Ashley, you're hilarious. Oh, look, look at his face. It grew back real it fast. Did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long. No, not with everybody making fun of me. It made sure it grew back fast. <laughs> hey, Amanda. What's up? I don't know how to All find right. the video. So if I go to Soul Shine's page. Yeah. It should be, it should just pop up that it's live. Keep going. Aha! There, found it. Okay. All right, so we're good. Um, what time is it? It is, uh, can't see it. What time is it, Caleb? Six. Okay, it's six. So, okay, good. Yeah, just so that you're on. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, in a comfortable seat, nice easy seat, um, face back to back. So if you want to get there and I'll come in a sec. So crisscross applesauce if that's comfortable or just legs can be um, long. <laughs> yeah, um, did you notice our clock does not work? So <laughs> it's definitely broken. Um, a reminder for all these poses is um, You'll generally have one partner that's less flexible than the other. So be gentle and kind with each other. Remember to communicate with each other. That's half the fun of it. <laughs> All right, so we'll get started there. Yeah, there is a little bit, but okay. you can still see, at least when I do, I can't see it at all. Okay. So back to back, uh, whatever's comfortable. Are you comfortable with crisscross applesauce? I know I am, but sure. if not, you can sh you can have wide legs, whatever, so you're setting up nice and tall. Maybe you want to rest your head against the shoulder or the neck here. And from here, we're going to take some nice deep breaths here together. So extending the arms out and maybe holding hands here if you'd like. As you inhale, you'll rise those hands up, and then exhale, bring them back down. Breathing together, so I want to feel your breath this time. There you go. One more. Exhale, release. 
And from here, we'll take a twist, a little partner twist. So let me see if I can think of the right hands here. That's your my uh, left left hand will come to my right knee, and my left will come to his. Is that right? Right? Yeah. Then my left hand. <laughs> you know what we mean. And so up. So you're twisting. Each of you is getting that twist here. Ooh, did you feel that crack? Uh, the crack, yeah. It's a, oh, whoa. That was a big crack. Take a few breaths here. This twist, kind of using the leverage here of the hand. If you like to twist in deeper. <laughs> And then release opposite way. So this is my right hand to your left knee, right? <laughs> uh, take a few breaths here. Oh, you can crack it both ways. That was good. And back through center. From here, we're gonna, in our link, is that link our arms at the elbows? We're gonna plant our feet on the ground here. Okay, from here, we're gonna work together to stand up. So you might uh, have a little trouble at first, but just work with each other. We like to count here, or Nick does. Count? Go ahead, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Pressing into each other to stand up, good. So maybe it takes a few times, you know, just something fun to play with. And then from here, <laughs> you can dance. Or from here, if one partner wants to pick up the other, you kind of get a little lift off here. Kind of a little like, uh, Plow pose action here if you like. You feel released trying not to kick my lamp here. All right. And then we'll just come to standing. If you need a drink or anything, get a drink. I'm gonna do a double tree pose from here. So standing side to side, we figured it's waist and shoulder, or whatever is comfortable for the heights here. And that outside foot is gonna come and plant into the inside of your thigh, or it can even be down here at the ankle. But you kind of have the support of each other, so you can try some balancey things. If this is super chill, easy for you guys, you can reach for that um, bind of the big toe with your peace fingers, or just grabbing the foot here and extending it out from here, or just the knee from here. Yeah, it's gonna be more, yep, <laughs> there you go, perfect. And let's switch sides here, so we're evening out. So most of these poses will have a, we'll switch partner A and B. So just so we even out the sides here, three on the opposite side, and then extend, like this leg might be easier for you, I don't know, one side's always, well, we didn't really warm up either, so. <laughs> All right, and down, shake it out if you need to. We're gonna come back down to the ground, I think, for these poses. Yes, we're gonna work on our boat pose, double boat pose. Do we need to look at any questions here? I don't know, let me see if any. Mine, well, mine's... Oh, I'll look oh. here. This is where you might need a, hey, Jen. <laughs> so this is where you might need a, on the height difference. Um, if one partner is really tall, the other is really short, you might need a strap to reach here. So we'll show you both variations. So you're gonna face each other. Okay, this is our boat pose here. So we're gonna press our feet together. This is also kind of tricky here, so communicate to figure out the balance. Because again, one partner is gonna have more hamstring flexibility. What? <laughs> so here, we can join hands here, but we're kind of like uneven, but we notice that if we use the strap here, we can get a lot more balance. So Nick's gonna show you how he wraps it up on his hand. We are using like a bathrobe tie here. Yeah, that's what it is, bathrobe tie. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we use this for, bathrobe. Yeah, okay. Take it now before we turn, okay. Putting the feet together and then here, so we're a little more balanced here and then he can tighten the strap too, to as much as we want. Oh, fun. But I want your legs to be straight, so, okay. All right. If I want to straighten the legs, you need it wider? No, I need it with the hands. Oh. Because it's got, there's just not enough force with that. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. But I have to pretty far back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a very good stretch. Okay, and release. Well, I'm gonna add in the child's pose because I just feel like my back needs a stretch. So okay. we'll do um, partner A, whoever's partner A on the ground first. So in a nice wide-legged child's pose, can you get? Face that way. Or? I think it'd be, I'm gonna be laying over you. So. 
Yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. Somehow. So partner A is going to get in that child pose. Um, whatever's more comfortable for that. I, don't, I think wide legged is more like a wrestling sit for him, so it gets easier for him. He's pretty flexible actually in this pose here. So you want you can just take a little time to massage here if you like, pressing the hips down, pressing forward, massage here, like. And then we'll come partner B, we'll kind of come butt to butt here, and then we'll lay down over, extending the legs out, and just release here. And again, ask, does this feel good? Do I need to move anywhere? So you can, it feels good for me to bring my uh, hands up here, maybe grab hands here. All right, and we'll switch. Yep. I'll be done. That was a very good child's pose, by the way. Was it? Yeah. Knees were nice and wide. But you've been working on it, haven't you? So I guess you could also do a closed knee child's and just feel a little more in the low back. But I like the wide leg because you can get farther down to the ground. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yep. No, it's not. I just need. No. I need to move that. It's like a weighted blanket. It is. It's nice. Am I supposed to straighten my legs or? If you want, you keep, if that feels good. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. So you're laying on the ground and you're going to be up and I'm going to grab oh. your hands behind you. Okay. Again, so this one, don't, <sighs> don't make it a competition, although we always do. So yeah. on how high you can go. Be uh, gentle here. So from here, you can just come to sit behind your partner and gently pull up with their breath on the inhale here, extending back. And then Sarah taught us this one, right? Where we were, remember where your knees were in here, I think? Were the knees oh, in yeah. here? And yeah. Sarah, are you on? Do you want to help us out with this one? Did I sit yeah. on your butt? Oh, on your knees. Yeah. Like this. So mm -hmm. you're kind of in a child's pose on the back of his legs. And then I lifted you up, right? I think so. No, I feel like I was... If Sarah's on. She can help us. I feel like we were more into the back. So well, does that feel good for you or do you need more height? Kind of, my back's kind of tight. So okay. So it's like tightening. Okay. Yeah. So we'll switch here. I feel like a... It was a Thai massage move that Sarah think, taught uh, us. Did she have the knees in the butt? Isn't that what it was? Yeah, there was somewhere. Like right here? Right here, that's what I thought, but I yeah. didn't know if that was going to hurt. Put your, no, put your feet on the inside of my thighs. Right here? Inside, and then kneel down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, see? That's nice, yeah. Yeah. So, like he said, the feet will be in the inside of the thighs here. Should the shins we, will come we, down. Should we turn so they can see? Oh, it? yeah. Turn so we can see that. My feet are on the inside here of his thighs. My shins are coming down to rest right on his butt here. And then I'm reaching around, just reaching for my wrists. And we're here. Nice. And give a little massage while you're here. Okay, we'll switch. Partners. Squatting? Normally, no. 
was kind of back here. Oh, okay, further. yeah. Let's try that. I like that. Yeah. It's not as easy. Yeah. Bite feet together. There was, I, there was one that we were squatting to, but on the carpet, if I'm not sitting on yeah. your feet, you're going to slide. Okay. Okay. So we'll set facing each other, um, straddle the legs wide, facing each other. Caleb, you up here? I was going to do this with Caleb because he's Caleb, super come here. flexible. Yeah. Can we do with him? Okay. I'm going to show you with him. This can be done with kids or anybody. So double straddle here. Yep. Your legs out wide. Grab hands, and we're just gonna rock back and forth. I'm gonna pull him forward. See, he can go nice, nice. He's gonna pull me forward. You're so flexible. See, good. Come all the way down. See, perfect. We're going back and forth, and this will. This looks a lot different when Nick and I do it, but good. it does. <laughs> good. He's very flexible. See, you can even get your legs that wider, can't you? Yeah, he can almost go as wide as mine. There you go. Good job. Good job, bud. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, high five. High five. That was Caleb. Okay, and then from here, let's um, do, I call this the box pose. I don't really know what else it is. But one, yeah, one part is gonna be in that Dandasana or that staff pose here with legs extended out long, feet flexed. And then another one's gonna come up to kind of an L-shaped handstand position. This is gonna, require a lot of communication too if you have never done it we've done, we've done this a few times to kind of work out the kinks but it's still interesting when we switch so for me when I'm here I'm familiar with handstands so I have the the hinge in my hips so we're going to show you what you could do if you get in this position where this partner on the floor can lower down and rise back up otherwise you can just stay there for me I'm going to grab onto his ankles here because that's comfortable for me, but you'll notice when, sorry, butts in your face. Yeah, when he does it, he's going to place his hands on the outside of the feet, but I'm going to grab onto his ankles from here. Take my feet up. He's going to catch me at the ankles. So I'm like in this L shaped handstand. I'm really pushing my butt forward. So we're in a box, right? Do we look like a box? Yeah, for as strange so, as that can be. Yeah. This is the pose. If you want more, a uh, partner on the floor can lower down and you come to a plank and then you hike those hips back up as he rises up. So we're both kind of getting a workout here. Probably him more than me. How many can we do? Two. Let's do three. One more. Nice. All right. And then we'll switch here. This will be fun. This one's so fun. So. Famous last words. This will be fun. <laughs> so when we when he does this, his um he places his hands right on the outside yeah. of my feet here. Yep. I grab his ankle. Got it. Yep. Okay, and then he needs to hike those hips. Perfect. See? This is good. Do you think we can do it? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Go. Is it a lot of weight? No. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Come up now. Push him up. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta think. Do you have really a lot of weight? Should there be a lot of weight? So you need to keep your weight, your hips over your. Okay. You want to try it again? Okay. No, I'm getting sweaty now. As long as you put more weight, that partner's putting more weight into their hands. Yeah. There. See, once those hips go over the shoulders. Yep. Does it? You gotta keep your. You're, you're, you're coming down and you're dropping your elbows. Oh, so what do I do? you got to keep your arms extended. Oh, keep my arms straight. Okay. Yeah. We're learning as we go. Let's try it one more time. Sure. Yeah. Are you fine? I'm fine. Okay, I want to try it one more time. So to keep my arms straight. Yeah. I know it's deep. Okay, so I lay back with my hands mm -hmm. straight. Hold your hands straight up. I can't. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> I can't keep them straight. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm strong enough. You wrote when you go back. I'm not good at you're this. You're just doing part. this. You're going from here and you're yeah. just kind of boom. Okay. 
So I suck at that part because I tried that with my 15 year old and he could do it as well. So I'm obviously sucking at the strength part. That's true. Gotta, you just gotta lock your elbows out. Lock, okay. Okay. We'll try that more later. Okay. Um, with no clothes on? <laughs> okay. I'm a little sweaty, so we're gonna. Hey, Teresa, what's up? We're gonna do. Um, I love this song. Downward facing dog next. That pose, the double downward facing dog. Can you put your feet on my... Yeah, but you're going to go first. I'm going to go down. You're going to go up first. Okay. Um, so, partner A, which way should we do it? We should. I think we should angle to where we're... This oh, way? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to move So, this partner A, there's a few variations here. There's a handstand option. I'll show you when we switch to. I know some of you are familiar with handstands. So, partner is going to come into downward facing dog. Nick's going to place his hands out right in front of mine. Mm -hmm. And he's going to step his feet to the small of my back. And then press in here. And then, yeah, kind of the same action here, shifting those hips over the shoulders here. That's gonna give you that leverage. So the more he pushes back here, the more I'm gonna feel that release. Yes! Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that feels good for me. And then if I push forward, forward he's gonna get those hips up and can go into handstand if he likes. That feels good. All right, this one. Oh, that felt good. Pressure there. So you can really work with that. Like when his toes are right there, that was a good release right there in my low back. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll switch. Um, no. Carrie, what's up? Is that Carrie Green? It is. Mama you Green. You guys are doing this, right? Do you have Chris doing this? Chris, I better right see some video of Chris. Yeah, he's doing it. <laughs> Just scroll and popped up to say hi. You guys right. No, you should Whatever. do it. <laughs> All right, so Nick's gonna come down and sit downward facing dog. And then if you have handstand in your practice or you're just working towards a good way to start because you have the support and you get the feeling of the, the hips coming over the shoulders here. <laughs> Love you too, Carrie. So it's kind of a good place to practice. I started here when I was working on my handstand practice. This is kind of where I started. Do you need to maybe shift back a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so from here, you can walk those feet up as high as you're in that L shape. You can lift one leg or the other from here, and you get that stacked feeling. That's going to come in helpful for handstand. Lift one leg or the other. Maybe lift both. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I think we did all our seated poses. We'll move into a few acro poses. I know a few of you are, I know Debbie does some acro, so a few, are you, a few of you are familiar with that. So for this, Nick is the bottom partner, obviously. On the base. We haven't tried it the other way. So he's gonna lay down with his feet oh. extended up towards the ceiling. Okay, so we do it this way. Oh, this is a great song for it too. He's gonna extend his feet up. I'm gonna see if it's, yep. Am I kinda centered? Uh, Maybe scooch more that way because I'm going to be. So the first pose we're going to do, I'm going to lay back onto his feet. This is very a pretty accessible pose so and a great stretch for the low back. I'm going to lay back on his feet and then there's an option for me to grab my ankles. So kind of like a bow pose a little bit. Okay. Feet extended. He's going to, where am I at? Kind of on my butt here. Yep. And I'm going to lean back here. So from here, you can just kind of play here, releasing the arms if you like, or you can reach around for the ankles here. A nice stretch here. How's it going? <laughs> All right, look, set me back down from here. <laughs> okay. Set me back to my feet. Okay. Okay. To my... <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's the one to play with. And then this next one, it's kind of fun too to get uh, an inversion. It's kind of like a headstand motion. If you're familiar with headstand, then you'll probably have, hey Sarah, um, you'll have that control of stacking your body. So we're gonna start off the same way and I'm gonna lean back and extend my feet high, placing my hands on your shoulder area. Yeah. Kind of inside. Oh, kind of inside his shoulders and he's gonna grab, right you grab like my. I, grab, I put my hand on your shoulder. Yeah, and, and we're right stacked. There. So we'll got sh we'll show you, and then if you have any questions. Okay. Let me, let 
It's your floor. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start the same way. Roll through that back bend here. And then from here, he's grabbing my shoulders here. I'm moving my hair out of the way. I'm gonna grab around his armpits. And then, oh, I'm hitting the lamp. I got it, I got it. And then stack my hips here. Am I feet straight? I can't see. Uh, yeah, Okay. And then from here, there's whatever variation you want. You can do stag legs, whatever, and then you can come down. Sorry. No, you're good. You okay? Yeah. So, I, did I hit the lamp? I think I did hit the yeah. lamp. So, might be better to practice this where you have more clearance overhead. <laughs> but, hey, Sarah. So, Sarah, if you have any tips or um, comments here, I know you were a great resource for us last time. And we were just, before we started, we were playing with that uh, boat pose when I was sitting on his feet, and that was kind of... That was a struggle, so that's gonna be one we're gonna have to uh, work on. And then one last. Yeah, Eric, Eric yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric. And then um, we have one more. I don't know what this is called, but I'm calling it a star pose. Um, we we offered it in our last couples class. So Nick's gonna be the base again. He's gonna come into a uh, squat here. I'm gonna step onto kind of a oh, cheerleading move here. I'm gonna step onto his thighs. He's gonna grab underneath my armpits, raise me up, and I'm gonna grab my feet from here, from there. And then we'll show you some options too from there. The first time you wanted to dump me over the front. Um, yeah, like you did before, just go here, step out, and I'll jump over the side. So squat, step up from here. My arms come out. You're gonna grab my palms and then lift with the strong arms. And I'm gonna reach around for, you can grab the calves, but I, it's prettier to grab the heels here, like a heel stretch. There you go. Just a turn in a circle, but we don't have that clearance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the dismount from here, we were playing around with this. You could lower, Sorry. just as so. Oh yeah, over the shoulder. You can even go into a handstand from here. And he's just gonna flip me over. And now we'll show you, um, right down your shoulders. You can also just go, another fun thing to play with, um, sometimes we, I get on his shoulders and we can like dismount from there, but we realize we can't do that from here. But it's really easy to transition into a fun uh, shoulder, what would you call that? Yeah. Sitting on shoulders. Shoulder shit, kind of thing, whatever. It'd be really fun if we played this the opposite way. <laughs> yes, I would die. So from here, I'm just gonna step my legs around. He's gonna work his arm around. And our setting, can I reach up? Yeah, I'm on his shoulders. From here, there's a lot of places to play. You can even bend over backwards here and do crunches. Revert, what do you call that? Uh, like reverse crunches. I don't know if I wanna try that right now, but. From here, he's just gonna either step me down or, yeah, because he's strong enough to do that. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. All right. That's all I got. If you guys want to finish up, this is how we usually like to finish up. We usually finish up in this pose, straddle pose. You're facing me. Yep, this is, this is how we finish oh, yeah. double yoga. Yep. So this is how we finish. So this is our Shavasana. Yep. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. But have a nice weekend. Oh, you can my butt. Oh, are you sweating? Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, man, you're sweating more. I'm sweaty. You are. Okay, see if anybody. You guys have a great weekend. And let us know. If you play with any of these poses or maybe take some pictures and send them to us or put them on the Soul Shine page.